<laughs> you already know what time it is. It's your boy Dre in the hangout. Another good day for us. A very special show today. Um, first of all, let me tell y'all, God bless you that I'm still here. I uh, had a little issue a couple of, a couple of days ago. Don't really get too deep into it because it kind of breaks me up a little bit. But uh, blessed to be on the show. First and foremost, uh, very deep show for y'all. I actually got an interview with one of the, the most talented brothers I know in the building. Uh, right now, he is in the process of doing a show for uh, the world. It is called the UMAs, the Underground Music Awards. Uh, it will be held November 17th at the 595 Event Center in Atlanta, Georgia. Right next to the Atlanta Falcons Stadium. All right. So I uh, want y'all to come out there and check it out. i uh, been blessed to be able to have this conversation with him. Uh, you will hear it later on in the show. Um, two parts. Really, really, really in depth about a lot of things. Uh, I can't really explain to y'all. Because if I explain to y'all, then I'll spoil the show. But let's go ahead and get into some music. I got a little, a little uh, new music for y'all. I got some uh, old cuts that you might have heard the past couple days. Uh, any of these songs that you hear right now can be requested on the station on Dre's Radio Cafe. You can also go to the app www.dre'sradiocafe.com. There you can go to request song and uh, you can request a song there. This first song you're ready to hear is by Lena Lay. The song is called It's My Time, followed by a new one by uh, Miss Fabulous. Actually, I'm going to give you, I thought about giving you a double dose of Miss Fabulous, but now nah, I'm going to go ahead and give you that one, that uh, shirt wet. I want y'all to check that out. Uh, but uh, I want y'all to, to check these two tracks out. This is Lena Lay. It's called It's My Time. You're now rocking with your boy Dre in the hangout. What you sipping on? Let's go. It's Lane to Lay, ayy. By the drum like the bass did. Don't nobody wanna say shit, but those amazed one who hate it. On the sidelines, way too long, now I'm playing. I wish a nigga tried to change it. Hand me the first time, not another breath wasted. I have my back against the wall, looking caged in. For the longest, ain't nobody had my back. But I'm hooked up with the realest, but a drum like the bass did. Don't nobody wanna say shit, but those amazed one who hate it. On the sidelines, way too long, now I'm playing. I wish a nigga tried to change it. Hand me the first time, not another breath wasted. I have my back against the wall, looking caged in. For the longest, ain't nobody had my back. But I'm hooked up with the realest, and I'm staying. You looking up while I'm walking through the door. All this fake wanna be rappers gotta go. Ask a hoe what's loyalty, they won't know. I don't fuck with broke hoes, but if you try, we can roll. Better throw a party with the baddest bitches. Everything I do, you better have a camera present. Speaking about the real laners who you had to mention. It's a money racing niggas like my brakes is sticking. While I'm stepping on the gas and my brakes is missing. I'll be hitting whole runs like it's baseball season. I'ma get what I want, bitch, please believe it. Dash for the cash like the police is narrowing. I'm trying to get my feet right through the dough. So in the summer heat, my wrist is cold. Ain't nobody know they about to know. I go to win, I never go better drum like the base. Did. Don't nobody wanna say shit, but those amazed one who hate it. On the sidelines, way too long, now I'm playing. I wish a nigga tried to change it. Hand me the first time, not another breath wasted. I have my back against the wall, looking caged in. For the longest, ain't nobody had my back. But I'm hooked up with the realest, but a drum like the bass did. Don't nobody wanna say shit, but those amazed one who hate it. On the sidelines, way too long, now I'm playing. I wish a nigga tried to change it. Hand me the first time, not another breath wasted. I have my back against the wall, looking caged in. For the longest, ain't nobody had my back. But I'm hooked up with the realest, and I'm staying. I just bought a fake nigga. From a mile away Those are the type of niggas I don't get the time of day Those are the type of niggas I don't even want in my space Don't only worry about chasing Don't get in my way I'ma stand underneath the spotlight So hey to see when I shine light So bright them niggas go blind Now they got Ray Charles I lot of success I continue to climb I don't know about you But I'ma get mine I'ma grind until I die And one day all them chips is mine I got shit I gotta do People I want to see smile Happy tears all in their eyes That's what makes this shit worthwhile Get the money in my hand and I watch it go Cause in death I cannot spend So this cash I blow They say it ain't what you know Bitch, it's who you know That's how the world we live in works And that shit's for show I'ma be alright, fam is good We all down the ride Rest in peace to all my people Flying high in the sky I'ma do this for my family I'ma do this for self Name someone who can be me Oh wait, there's nobody else Better jump like the bass did Don't nobody wanna say shit But those amazed one who hate it On the sidelines way too long 
game, now I'm playing. I wish a nigga tried to change it. Hand me the first time, not another breath wasted. I have my back against the wall, looking caged in. For the longest, ain't nobody had my back. But I'm hooked up with the realest, but I drop like the bass did. Don't nobody wanna say shit, but those are main one who hate it. On the sidelines, way too long, now I'm playing. I wish a nigga tried to change it. Hand me the first time, not another breath wasted. I have my back against the wall, looking caged in. For the longest, ain't nobody had my back. But I'm hooked up with the realest, and I'm staying. And that was Lena Lay. The song's called It's My Time. Appreciate you listening to me. Uh, you're now rocking with your boy Dre in the hangout. The next song up is uh, Miss Fabulous. The song is called T-Shirt Wet. It's off that Love Chronicles album. Y'all can get it now in stores or online. Get with Boss Lady, Boss Ladies Radio, right after uh, this show at 9 o'clock every night of the week. Uh, Spreaker Radio. Shout out to Spreaker, to Spreaker Radio. Boss Ladies Radio. Uh, sponsored by Boss Ladies Inc., uh, you're now rocking with your boy Dre. This song right here is called T Shirt Wet. This is Miss Fabulous. Check it out. <sighs> Long day, can't wait till my man get home. I wonder where he at, cause I've been waiting on him all night, you know. But, um, got the T shirt on, no panties, you know how that go. So, hopefully, I can stay dry till he get here.
And that was uh that was called T shirt wet by Miss Fabulous off that Love Chronicles. Man, I hope they ain't heard with that moaning on the end, man. Woo woo woo. You better watch yourself. Hey, uh, you're not rocking with your boy Dre in the hangout. You know what time it is. Enjoying yourself, kick back, relax, get you a little something, something to drink, whether it be a uh, Boone's Farm or you know, Auburn Mist or a little bit of, you know, Crown Royal or some Firefly or whatever your taste or drink of choice is, make sure you're responsible with it, all right? We love for you to sit down, relax, listen to us, enjoy yourself, get a couple laughs in, whatever the case may be. Also, send us your emails, anything, if y'all are checking us out or just checking the station out, let us know that you're listening, man. Uh, 615-540-3998 is the number here. You can also text us, say, hey, shout out to the station. I will shoot y'all a shout out back if y'all don't go to that uh, actual site or if you go to the actual um, the actual phone number, text us, 615-540-3998. I'll shoot you a shout out later on down the line, all right? Appreciate y'all very much. You can check out any of these shows on Speaker Radio, iHeartRadio, or any of the other platforms after this show airs, all right? So let's go ahead and get back into the music right now. Um, this is The Long Way by Money Matt, produced by Let the Boy Cook. It's off his album uh, shortly to come out soon, man. Haven't really got a title for it yet. I'm going to give you a double dose. This is uh, The Long Way, and after that it'll be called Females, a song called Females. Uh, so I'm going to let y'all check them two out. Come back, sit and chit-chat with me, all right? You're now rocking with your boy in the hangout, sponsored by 100 Proof. What y'all sipping on? Let's go. Let the boy cook. Get the boy show. Yeah, it's been a long road, but you already know. Money man. Look. I made it the long way. 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 Started with nothing. Nothing. Now I'm balling. I made it the long way. 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 Made a path in the game. Now everyone calling. Hey. I made it the long way. Made it the long way. Made it the long way. Started with nothing. Nothing. Now I'm balling. I made it the long way. Made it the long way. Made it the long way. Made it path in the game. Now everyone calling. Look, when I started back in 2016, I didn't know a thing. You wouldn't believe today. This even me. I put in work on my own two feet. Broke the shackles. Now I'm running free. Came a long way from being broken. Running my tank down on E. Going further. It's no longer free. 15k and travel ain't cheap. When you got two kids, it might solve you. Lost your job for chasing your dream of a female. Do you like? You can't believe, but now I'm on the move. Who knew my OG told me not a soul got the same grind as me as you? My moves on repeat. I flame me feet. Fire smoker, no one's going harder than me. The fire starter, don't be talking. You ain't got a clue what in the world I've been through. Talk that talk, I go by you. Larger mountain and green on blue. I made it the long way. 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 Started with nothing. Nothing. Now I'm balling. I made it the long way. 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 Made a path in the game. Game. Now everyone calling. I made it the long way. 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 Started with nothing. Nothing. Now I'm balling. I made it the long way. 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 Made a path in the game. Game. Now everyone calling. Giving it raw. That's in full view. Bottom of the shoe, knock the boots. Cincinnati hit maker, I got the juice. Made some moves, but I got more to do than to prove. My accolades show enough the proof. I got on my ass and I got it too. Cold turn the number, that's what pressure do. Also solid when the pressure crew came a long way from nothing. You other artists impressionable. I'm rapping that game tight like a compression dude. This a new way, I'm in the right direction, dude. CEO run the whole thing like the president too. Made a long way, and I ain't going back like the rest you do. Unlike the universe, you'll call me young destiny too. I made it the long way. 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 Started with nothing. Nothing. Now I'm balling. I made it the long way. 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 Started with nothing. Nothing. Now I'm balling. I made it the long way. 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 Made a path in the game. Game. Now everyone calling. And that was Money Matt. The song was called The Long Way, produced by Let the Boy Cook. That's off as a new album coming out real, real soon. Shout out to everybody that's listening. Shout out to Money Matt. Um, let's go ahead and check out this other track. It's called Females. It's also produced by Let the Boy Cook. 
And it's also off of Money Matt's new album coming out real soon. So check it out. Let me know what you think. All right, you're not rocking with your boy Dre in the hangout. Uh, sponsored by 100 Proof. What y'all sipping on? Let's go. Money Matt. Females be playing some games. I might just stay in my lane. Females be playing some games. I might just leave her on hang. Hop in the whip and fly out of space. I ain't got no time for you, babe. Females be playing some games. I folded it up and returned it back. Females be playing some games. I might just stay in my lane. Females be playing some games. I might just leave her on hang. Hop in the whip and fly out of space. I ain't got no time for you, babe. Females be playing some games. I folded it up and returned it back. Females be playing some games. I ain't got time for it, babe. Had to cut another one loose. Yeah, I ain't no lame. She tried to hit my line. You know you love me. Now the feeling ain't the same. When you left, it was bye forever. I ain't got no more to say. So I hit the road and I cruise. Chick took a L. Yeah, you lose. Now I'm in another state with a whole lot of bad ones. Don't know which one to choose. Nah, matter of fact, maybe not. Left a thought for another thought. I'm just making my way. Got no time for the games. Kids at home. We too straight, what she give, that love just fake Heart and soul been torn by a few, I ain't the same I'm more aware, mentally contained So when your face is staring blank You don't know, I already knew what to think Learn your tendencies, but it's funny how they change <laughs> Females be playing some games I might just stay in my lane Females be playing some games I might just leave her on hang Hop in the whip and fly out of space I ain't got no time for you, babe Females be playing some games I folded it up and returned it back Females be playing some games. some games. I might just stay in my lane. My lane. Females be playing some games. I might just leave her on hang. Hop in the whip and fly to space. I ain't got no time for you, babe. Hey. Females be playing some games. I folded it up and returned it back. These females be acting the same. The same. I don't got time for it, babe. No. Had to hit the swerve on a yeah. was money mad the song was called females produced by let the boy cook off his new album coming out real soon shout out to everybody that's uh submitted music been playing music on my show uh giving me some uh, opportunities to expose y'all a little bit uh feel free um also i meant to tell y'all due to i had this little situation a couple days ago due to my little situation i didn't get a chance to do my uh Run up when you see me challenge. I do have it already done, written down, whatnot. I'm getting ready to go ahead and do it. Y'all will get it by Monday. Next Monday, it'll be a special show. I actually got two cuts coming out for y'all. Uh, one of them is my run up when you see me challenge. And then I'm going to go ahead and let y'all try to come off, come off on me like that. And then also my other track will hopefully be done sometime this week also. It is called Freaks. It's me featuring Doc Evans. Um, shout out to Doc Evans. I actually got two songs with him on my album coming out. Uh, I'm still trying to get some ideas for the album, but shout out to everybody that's helped me with the album also. Uh, Money Matt, um, Doe Fresh of Dine, um, man, the list is crazy. Everybody from Cartel Fam, uh, Mulatto Mafia. Uh, it's going to be sick, man. I promise y'all, it's going to be sick. You cannot, you cannot go without trying to get a hold of this CD, all right? Um, it's going to come in different formats. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it yet. I've got to sit back and uh, contemplate and think about it a little bit because there's so many options, so many ways I can go with this. All right. But uh, it's going to be my only project. It's going to be well worth it. All right. But let's go ahead and get into uh, 
some new music, all right? Right now, I got this, this uh, uh, actually, I'm going to give you a double dose, okay? First of all, the artist's name is Why So, all right? Why So? Um, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a little bit of his background, if y'all don't mind listening for just a few moments. Um, Why So is from Nashville, Tennessee, all right? Um, appreciate y'all listening. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get it up real quick for you so I can uh, let y'all see what's going on. Anyway, why so is from Tennessee. Uh, he's worked with a lot of artists down this way. He's got two, he's got a whole album out right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all just a double dose of them. The double dose has a, has a friend of mine from hundred proof involved in the click. All right. Uh, Iveen Dayton is, a uh, one of the artists that he, you know, Iveen Dayton is from hundred proof, but, uh, I appreciate y'all listening. Uh, he's got a song with Iveen, and he's got another song with him and Iveen and uh, Cool Daddy Fresh. So I want y'all to check these two songs out. The first one is called Through Hell and High Water, and then the second one is called My Vision, all right? When we get done with those, I want to come back and chit-chat with y'all for a minute before I let y'all get into this special interview with BMO from BMO Magazine and the UMA Awards, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this music. You're now rocking with your boy Dre in the hangout. This is why so Through Hell and High Water. Featuring Iving Dayton, all right? Check it out. Through hella high water, I'm a trap. I'm a trap. Through hella high water, I'm a stack. I'm a stack. I pledge my allegiance to this G shit. We gon' get this money, yo, we beastin' Through hella high water, I'm a trap I'm a trap Through hella high water, I'm a stack I'm a stack I pledge my allegiance to this G shit We gon' get this money, yo, we beastin' Come up on a dinner plan, checkin' with my little man I'll cast all my life, I guess I'm staring at them ceiling fans It's hell with the pot and pan, so try it with the pen and pan Tired of eating prison slams, gotta get up out this jam Waitin' on my luck to turn, get straight, no pressing perm Daddy lookin' at me like, boy, you never learn Yeah, but I'm tryin', don't rough around the edges Threaten me with 40 years, but baby, I ain't chillin' Cause it really ain't no tellin' what your life turn out to be If you stand on your square, do your time and keep it cheap Fillin' out applications, thinkin' who gon' hide me That don't stop me from tryin', so I guess we'll have to see This and motivation for them booming out the trap For them ones down bad and can't wait to get back For them youngins in class claim they don't know how to act Through hella high water, well I guess that be our path, be our path Through hella high water, I'm a trap I'm a trap. Through hella high water, I'm a stack I'm a stack. I pledge my allegiance to this G shit We gon' get this money, yo, we beastin' Through hella high water, I'm a trap I'm a trap. Through hella high water Water, I'm a stack, I'm a stack. I pledge my allegiance to this G shit. We gon' get this money, yo, we beast it. All the money the rent is due, really don't know what to do. Box to lead me back to jail, what the money plentiful. Summer's over, back to school. Shorty need new tennis shoes, but the block still burning up, and I'm just trying to think it through. Take the work up off the scale and weighing on my options. Count my blessings, figure if the risk is worth the profit. Success is just a process, gotta fit it to the street. Got a couple old warrants, so I don't got no ID. So I don't know who I am, that mean I'm really not myself. And I'm running to this money with the police on my trail. Man, you know I can't get caught, ain't got a dollar on the belt. With nobody to help me, so I gotta go for self. But it's that inspiration for them boosting with the strap. For them women who bad and get paid to throw it back. For them ones who lost trial for testimony of a rat. Through hella high water, well I guess that be our path, be our path. Through hella high water, I'm a trap. I'm a trap. Through hella high water, I'm a stack. I'm a stack. I pledge my allegiance to this G shit. We gon' get this money, yo, we beastin' Through hella high water, I'm a trap I'm a trap Through hella high water, I'm a stack I'm a stack I pledge my allegiance to this G shit we gon' get this money, yo, we beastin' Times is changing, people changing, also changes never Contemplating, I can't pray and wait to make it better Learn my lessons where I found them, now I know better Power only sees the power, streets got me together Had to go through major pain so I could do some major things 
Hell is a state of mind, the consequences came. Heaven is a state of mind, I hustle to my grave. Got that techno in the trap, you know it's jumping like a rave. Uh, class A felonies, home of the brave. Kick my mama dough in search of me on the stain. But nobody home, ducked off with a old flame. No matter what it looked like, I say me, I can't change. Cause with that dedication for them hoodies all black. For them dollars they be getting, that be free or all tax. For them girls who bust it now, but used to think they all that. Through hella high water, well I guess that be our path, be our path. Through hella high water, I'm a trap, I'm a trap. Through hella high water, I'm a stack, I'm a stack. I pledge my allegiance to this G shit. We gon' get this money or we beast it. Through hella high water, I'm a trap, I'm a trap. Through hella high water, I'm a stack, I'm a stack. I pledge my allegiance to this G shit. We gon' get this money or we beast it. That was Why So. The song was called Hell and High Water. Hell or High Water, I'm sorry. Hell or High Water. Uh, featuring Iveen Dayton. Uh, this next song right here is also Why Not a Why So. The song is called My Vision. It's Iveen Dayton. Cool Daddy Fresh. Why So, alright. Let's go ahead and let's check it out, man. You're not rocking with your boy Dre in the hangout. Sponsored by 100 Proof. What y'all sipping on? Let's go. Sick and tired of the bullshit Tell it to my nine Hit him with a full clip Little shorty tryna do it big Rush into the bank Put in work like John Wick Niggas talk money It's all counterfeit Run off on the plug And get the county hit Smoking my reefer Sipping my private stock My vision of business Monopolizing blocks Everybody good Eating heavy weight Some niggas is standing Might have to regulate Flip my first pack, got my first job Lost my virginity, bought my first car Money, power, respect, raised on the block Only the strong survive, let the heat pop Andrew Jackson, where a nigga from? Every nigga from my hood known to get it done I'm from where only the strong survive, baby Where is get rich or die trying, baby I just wish you would open your eyes Close your mouth, relax, clear your mind See life through my eyes, you the other side, baby Try and see my vision Feel what I'm feeling Try and see my vision Stand. It's a rubber band in my right hand But in jail is where I might land I'm a risk like a flight plan 1200 for my white sand In my dreams, fuck you mean I count 800 grand Fresh out here fighting like a right hand They want me to sit down, now nah, I take a stand Daddy gotta keep his cool, I'm a silly fan I'm supposed to be out the lunch, that's how I'm feeling, man To have a meal in the bank, what a feeling, man but life ain't right, so we turn to white to Peter Pan Cold world, summertime, keep the heater, man And I done earned my stripes three times like Adidas, man I done got to a point, I don't need a man See, I'm supposed to be grown, so I do this on my own A nigga making bank, but I don't give loans Ooh. I'm from where only the strong survive, baby where is get rich or die trying, baby? I just wish you would open your eyes Close your mouth, relax, clear your mind See life through my eyes, you the other side, baby Try and see my vision Feel what I'm feeling Try and see my vision My 
mind stay on one mode Come up, beat the block hard like bass heads and drum ups Stack to the band swollen, they playing bogus Dirty clothes and that be fro and I'm still rolling I ain't never looking back, I can promise that Failure is my only enemy, I promise that You niggas can't stand the pressure, have a heart attack Make it rumble in this jungle, where the drama at? Ain't no food stamps when you got a no charge Lost a section 8, the spot jump hard Snatched a financial aid from a hood star So I accomplish all I conquer using street smarts Hater looking down when you TJ Maxx and White T classics and a weed habit But they don't know what I know Cause I flip and stack it Then I flip and stack it Then I flip and stack it I'm from where only the strong survive, baby where is get rich or die trying, baby? I just wish you would open your eyes Close your mouth, relax, clear your mind See life through my eyes, you the other side, baby Try and see my vision Feel what I'm feeling Try and see my vision song was called my vision that was a uh, why so featuring Iveen Dayton and cool daddy fresh all right much love to everybody that's listening checking us out uh once again the hangout is sponsored by 100 proof uh shout out to everybody that's listening um uh, my song my single for uh freaks will come out next week all right by monday y'all will get that also my uh version of the run up when you see me challenge will be out next week too so to give you opportunity to look around see if you can do better than me uh it's gonna be kind of hard to top your boy man because i'm coming out with a different style than what everybody else is expecting all right so i'm gonna go ahead and throw that down for y'all also next week uh so it's gonna be a crazy week for everybody all right but uh right now i have the honors of letting y'all hear an interview very special interview with bmo from bmo magazine he's also in charge of the uma awards I had the honor of sitting down talking with him today, and uh, it was a pleasure, an actual pleasure, to uh, sit and chit-chat with him about anything and everything that had to do with music, because this young man is a visionary, and his idea and his thought process is that far advanced on an idea that somebody hadn't thought of this yet, but somebody actually did, and he did it, and I'm so proud of what he's doing, and uh, what's, what's going on, and what's manifested in his ideas that I've uh, wanted to take part in it. And uh, this interview right here is very, 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 very sentimental to me because I needed to hear some of what he said. And I think y'all need to listen to it too. Let's go ahead and get into this uh, interview with BMO. All right, check it out. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, on the phone right now, I have a young brother that I have truly admired for the past couple months now. Um, Very, very intelligent young man. He's got a vision that I have been willing to follow and go along with uh bernard moore he goes by bmo he's in charge of uh bmo magazine i'll let him explain himself to you good afternoon mr bmo how you doing sir thanks good. for having me i appreciate it you're more than welcome more than welcome um uh, you've got a lot going on and i want everybody to know your vision and what's going on with you and what you've got uh planned up uh you want to kind of explain it to them so they'll know yeah um 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 from the beginning, uh, I'm BMO, uh, BMO Magazine, um, uh, worldwide, dealing with um, plenty of indie artists. Uh, I call them indie artists. Uh, somebody really had to set my mind right to stop calling them underground artists, so I start, um, you know, Big Hits was the one that they helped me understand it between the indie and the underground. So so I start using the indie word to make sure that she says more professional for the artist. So, um um, the Music Awards show that I'm doing uh, is a uh, worldwide uh, underground music awards show worldwide, uh, 2018. Um, it's for entertainment that uh, 
have reached the peak of uh, doing mic nights all the time, being rewarded for their uh, hard work and their effort of the year. I've been watching so many uh, music award shows and, and, and wondering, okay, why aren't we doing that? You know, why do we feel we need money to do that? So I decided to put together a platform, uh, invest my own money into uh, building uh, a UMA's Music Awards show. Um, the UMA's uh, stand for uh, Worldwide, if you look on there, it's the Underground Music Award Apostrophe S. Uh, the S means many, plural, wide, worldwide. It means multiple. So um, that was the reason I decided to do this Music Awards show, because we got so much talent out here. And, you know, I understand people are doing shows but they're not being rewarded. You know, a lot of people said, we're going to get a publishing deal and all of this, and then after they leave, you don't hear about it. Yes, you know, sir. I, don't want, I want them to be into um, a spot where they feel like the superstar they is. They walk the red carpet. They get their interviews right there talking to radio stations. They feel special. They, they walk and meet other artists. They watch the talent on the stage. You know, say to yourself, I'm going to try to get on that stage next year. You know, this is the UMA. Everybody from all over the world is in this building. I need everybody to see me just like they, we, we see in this person. Uh, I want everybody to feel that way. True. And, uh, and, and, and that goes for the radio stations, too. That's why so many radio stations on the red carpet, because they reach different atmospheres. Everybody is not in the same atmosphere. And these artists need to be in all of those atmospheres. They need to be present in all of those atmospheres. If they interview with you, they're in your atmosphere. If they interview with Boss Lady, they're in their atmosphere. If they interview with an Infusion Radio Station, they're in their atmosphere. They then the nation the, the toll that takes is worldwide for that artist. True. We have just done interviews that made him worldwide. Indeed, indeed. So we have to build an outlet for our artists now. See, our artists is the ones that suffer, not the producers, not the managers, not the radio stations. It's our artists. So when we don't feed our artists, they don't feed you. True. They don't give you that music. They don't come to you with their music. They try to find somebody else that's feeding them. Now, I'm going to go over here and submit my music to them over here. They playing my music at least, bro. I agree. I definitely agree so on we're that. Feeding our, we, we're feeding our artists. Our artist is going to feed everybody that needs to be fed. Because now they got so much music, they're trying to do everybody platform if they can. Yeah, yes, definitely, definitely. They're trying to do everybody. So uh, the Underground Music Awards show is for that. Uh, it's for to build something different that never been done, bro. Um, and, uh, and I know most some people probably seen the little conversation I had with a young lady. And um, it was just a conversation. You know, and what I, mean, and I, and I tell everybody there's a difference between award shows. Uh huh. Um, when you say local, that means you are in the, at your front door. True. When you say worldwide, you didn't got in your car and drove to all these five miles down. Exactly right. It's a total difference. It's a total difference. Okay. Uh, to piggyback off a of person name, it doesn't say a. Um, uh, MAA. That's that's Atlanta Music Awards, which I respected, so respected, because that's that award show, and I and I hopefully when they have it, I want to go. Okay. I want to okay. be there. True. I'd without like to go to that again without a respect. Uh, the UMA's is the Underground Music Awards show worldwide. Uh, it's not local because we got people from all over the states coming. Indeed. We got people that's pulling up in buses coming. We got people that want to walk the red carpet and feel like the superstars that they are. And they want people to mingle. Yeah. We got, I got, I got um, a, a guy with studio even set up for people that come here that wants to come into his studio and put down something before they leave. Wow. 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 So, yeah. So what award show is doing that? Yeah, what award right. show is giving out awards to every nominated artist that comes in the building? True. Every one of those people that come in that building is going to receive something, bro. 
That's Every good. one of them that's been nominated. That's they are not going to leave out there with something in their hand. I can promise you that. And yeah. they're going to show them who the superstars they are. But we have 25 awards that belongs to the main 2000 artist superstars for, for 2018. And that's a blessing to somebody. I mean, that's, a, that's just recognition for what you do. Absolutely. Definitely. Now, what award show is doing that? Hey. The problem is, now they got to step their game up. Yes, you're right. You're right. They got to step their game up now. Yeah, See, that's they... the problem. Now they got to invest money into what they're doing. They don't want to invest the money. You're a wise man. They want to get people other. They want to get other people money and invest in. They don't want to invest their money. Yeah, you're right. You're right. See, so so right. So when so when you look at people that selling tickets and they show don't go correct and the show is canceled, what is that? Non refundable. True. Yeah, you're right about that. So why not invest your own money and make sure it's non-refundable instead of taking everybody else's money? And give them a good product. Give them a yeah. good product. You're right. You're so right. That's the sole plan of a lot of stuff. Um, let me ask you this. What was the concept behind doing the UMAs? Because I know you're doing the magazine. Was the magazine part of the bigger structure for doing the show? Or was it just something that you was already doing? You had already planned in your ideas in your head? No, it was the magazine. Okay. I got so many artists coming to me with my magazine. I'm still getting artists come to me with my magazine. Okay. Okay. You know, and, and, I, and I decided, you know, what better, you know, I can understand putting them in the magazine, but my magazine ain't putting them where they need to be. Okay. So I had to think of something. I'm like, you know what? You know, I'm going to do a showcase. I'm like, okay, a showcase. Showcase ain't good enough for me. Everybody's doing showcase. I said, I'm going to do, do this battle rap thing. No, I don't want to do that. Everybody's doing that, and, and it's not doing nothing for the artist. I said, okay, I'm going to put on a concert. Okay, yeah, that's a concert. Okay. Concert. That comes and that's gold. Okay. I said, well, I'll do an award show. I'll make it the to- totally different from every award show that has ever been done. I like I'll the idea. I said, but I have to think of a concept of how to make it different. So what I do, I do the research on BET, Oscars, uh, the Music Awards, uh, um, um, the, um, the, um, the Star, uh, to our Star Wars, Korean Awards. I did the research on them. And I noticed everybody that came through those doors, then walk them. They walked the red carpet on the outside, and they came in and they sat down. And the ones that won went home very happy. And the artist that that was nominated that didn't win went home. Oh well, maybe next year. Maybe next year, which is a great thing. Don't get me wrong, fantastic, great. But the thing is, wouldn't it be nice for them to walk out with something? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Wouldn't it be nice for the ones that nominated walk out with something? That's a good well, night. It would be a good feeling, you know what I mean? You know all places yeah. don't do that. So here's the thing, my kind and every all the artists know now. Every artist that's been nominated on their video that's going up and down is gonna receive a UMA's two thousand eighteen musical award certificate okay. of their entertainment in their hand. That's good. That's good. In appreciation of the underground music award show worldwide. That's, That's our good. appreciation for you showing up or you coming, uh, letting us even establish to promote your name. That's our that's our appreciation right there for you. That's that's nice. That's really nice. I like that idea. Um, let me say uh, a list of the guests. Like the, these guests, I know that you've been talking about it and going through the motions with it because a lot of people was upset that it got closer to time and they couldn't get involved. You went through, and I noticed that you did a whole lot of uh, showcases from different places, had people come down and do showcases and stuff. A guest list of people. I know you nominated, you've, you've got a whole list of people. Do you like to name off some names of people or, you know, just in general of who can, who can you expect to be on that stage? Who would be on that stage? Well, um, I did not. I did not know it was going to go this way. I did not. I, I had. I knew we were going to do okay. Put it that way. Uh huh. But the people that was placed on this stage, uh, don't touch the Don the lyrics. Oh yes. I call them the next Biggie Small. Oh, I know that. I Trust me. The lyrics. 
Trust me, I know. Uh, he, he, he's strong in words, strong in abbreviations, strong in uh, knowledge and wisdom of, of, of streetwise and hum- a very humble giant. Indeed. Very humble. Indeed. He's became uh, one of my favorites. He, uh, he, he was one of the people I first saw when I was like, people need to see this dude. I agree. People need to hear this dude. He's like a, a poet mixed with mixed with some other entity. You know, that that's he he reminded me of so much of Biggie Small. When I first saw Biggie when I saw him, but when I first heard of him on the street rapping, Doe looks just like that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. He looks just like that. And his style. His style is the exact same way. His style. That's because Biggie was a lyricist until he really got deep in the rap game. Yes. If you right. watch Biggie from the beginning, he was a limit. Yes, you're right. When you're he so... battled on the street, everything he said was lyrical. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So, so I I decided everybody needs to see this cat. Then I ran into some other people. I like, you know what? I gotta find a way to get these cats seen. See, one thing people don't know about my son is a number one artist. That almost got signed for three point five mil. Dang. Young Q CEO. He been on the Billboard charts. He been wow. on BET. He made the first bully song that got he got an award for it in Wisconsin. He been on V one hundred. He been live on other radio stations, TV stations. My son, Young Q CEO. Okay, okay. Is he going to be performing too? And he's one of the hottest. Yes, he, he's one of the explosive cool. artists. Cool. Don't use no profanity. Don't use nothing in his words. In his rhymes or anything. LL Cool J, huh? Yeah, and he did all shows with Tech Nine and everybody. Okay, okay, he did, good. He made a song with Bruno Mars before Bruno Mars became famous. Wow! Wow! Yeah. That's yeah, good. My son. See, people don't that they got to do their history on me before they figure me out. Okay. Find out the real reason why I'm really doing this. I'm disappointed how my son can even turn out. So I'm going to build a platform so other people don't have to do this. My son told me yesterday, Dad, they can just sell these CDs on certain certain... I said, no, son, we got to be bigger than that, son. Well, yeah. Dad, you know, everybody ain't going to appreciate it. I'm not worried about people appreciating it, son. I'm not worried about that. But it's bigger than that, though. You know that. It's, yes, I know it is. But see, my son is stuck. He's a rapper. He's an artist. So he's stuck in that mentality thinking. I mean, most rappers and artists are. It, yeah, you, you have to look at it for what it's worth, unless you veer out right. that idea or that genre, out, out that idea or perspective of what it right. is. A lot of them won't because they are the superstar. They think you should look at them as the superstar. So, um, <laughs> the thing is that, bro, you know. Um, it's something that has to be done. You're right. This was a vision that I had, and um, everybody seems to understand what this vision is, and they love it. Uh, El Devar's son, uh, Christian Devar, Doris Devar, he wanted to be a part of it. Dottie wanted to be a part of it. Um, her, man- her management crew, um, they've been on the phone talking to me for hours, telling me about everything that needs to happen. They've been coaching me along the way, bro. Wow. Coaching you in terms of what? I mean, you're guys. very talented. Yeah. I mean, what were they coaching you for? Yeah, but, but I, I mean, being prepared for anything that comes toward me with the people that they know, bro. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They've been coaching me on everything. They've been, they've been telling me about everything. They've been discussing these things. These people made it very clear, we're not going to let nothing happen to you, Demo. We got you a thousand percent. So for those people to say that and have that much respect for me and what I'm doing, I can't do nothing but say, Man, okay, let's do this. But see, here's the catch. We're not doing this for us. True. This is the underground music world. So we're doing this worldwide for every entertainer in the world. Yeah, you're right. We're doing this for everybody. You're right. But the thing is, we have to protect it. We have to protect it because we got some fools out there want to destroy it. True. This is why we're never successful at anything but staying local on the front step. Because somebody you know is going to be jealous, does not like the way it is, and wants to find a way to wreck that. Yes. So right. So, so what right. these people have done, these people have stepped in my circle and said, we're going to watch these backs for you people. 
Well, you know, we got we your got back you. too. We got your back too because yeah, the vision is yeah. deep. Uh, trust me, I know. The I vision know is boss deep. Lady, so you know, boss lady, she ready to fight. Yeah, I'm in that. <laughs> trust me. Between she like, she like fuck this. Yeah, between me and you personally, I'm the same way because I uh, I said the same thing to boss lady. We had our conversation on the radio and we talked about this scenario, and I've just gotten to that point where I realized that like your vision and my vision is somewhat the same. I just don't. I haven't expanded it. And what you're doing is you're giving everybody a big platform, just like I've given them a platform. But, it's like they don't want to okay, use it. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. What is it going to hurt? You're right. What we're doing, what we do this musical, what will it hurt? I mean, it's nothing. nothing. It's not going to hurt anything. It's going to build us. Nothing. It's going to build everybody that's doing music award show because now we have to up their game. True. Now they have to bring radio stations in like y'all. And that's now they a good got thing. to make sure radio stations be at the mic nights. Now they have to make sure you radio stations be at at the clubs and all of this stuff when they have. Now they have to pay these internet radio stations to be there to make sure these artists get they do. True, you're right. You're right. So it's going right. to up the game. That's all. And that's a good thing. But when you do that, when you bring you guys in radio stations, they get more for their tickets now. Yeah. You're right. They get more for their tickets now, because now they're giving them interviews. And they want that. And people have to see this thing. This is bigger than what everybody think it is, bro. I know, I everybody know. Everybody is thinking on a smaller level. This is huge. I because know. Because now we invite everybody in. Radio stations, producers, managers. Now we all of us is built around the artists. Now. And that's what they want. They want that exposure. They want to be seen. They want to be heard. I right. mean. And if all of us surround that artist, that artist gonna get all of the exposure that he needs or she needs. I had a um, I actually had this conversation on one of my shows where I discussed like it's more entities than just that though because you think about it. Not only are you dealing with the the ideas of the producers, the managers, the the artists themselves, the radio stations, you're also dealing with designers. You're dealing with camera people that are that want to do this as a profession. You got a uh, people that are. Uh, that are sponsors. You've got all these other entities that are involved in it than just one thing. And I, I, that's what my goal was as a station was to go to take indie artists and let them be heard on a wider scale to where I can eventually put in for a FCC radio station and be worldwide on an FM AM station to do just indie artists, which is what my goal was compared to what your goal is. You see what I'm saying? So I, when you said the vision, I was like, this vision is fantastic because it's kind of got the same mind frame as mine. It's just broader thinking than what I was thinking about. So, I mean, I commend you for that and I bless you for what you're doing right now because I know it's it's crazy that you're doing a lot of work right now. And I know you're not doing it on your own, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm, but I'm doing everything by myself, bro. Are you this really? This is the reason why this young lady, Miss Moore, uh -huh. should have been smart enough. So let me call this man. Let me call this man. Man, you know how great it would have been with somebody of her caliber, her talent, her business aspect in the musical world show to be on the side with me to, to reap all of this all of this royalties and respect and do this award show and everything and build with me as a partner, not as a worker. Wow. Wow. Do you realize how much how many people I'm looking for to share this side? Not walk behind me, but walk beside me. Well, you know, you got one in me because I'm definitely I when I heard the vision and you talking about doing this, I said, man, I'm in 100 percent. I've been going at it ever since. Uh, I haven't even shut down yet. I mean, I just this is one of the situations where it's, it really even if the reward doesn't look that big now, it's going to be better down the line, regardless of yeah. what it is. You know, and we I got just, a lot of sponsors looking at us. Bro. Yes. We got lawyers just going to be. There. Yes. We got some uh, we got some guys from uh, Coca-Cola. He's coming in. Um, we got we got some other people coming in, bro. Okay. We, we, we got it's it's not that simple what people think it is. This is not a regular award show. I've been telling people for everybody that's been alone. This is not just an award show. Okay. This is an invite to invite us into the industry. Okay. That's for them to see us. Okay. Here, let me give you another vision. I'm gonna tell you how big my vision is, bro. Because okay. it's not just an award show. Okay. For anyone that's listening, imagine going to L.A. Walking down the strip, all the stars. Uh -huh. Checking out all the food stuff. And you know how many indie artists that we have? Yeah. That we've 
totally forgotten about that we don't know? A lot. A lot of them. Now, imagine, imagine, do you know how long Peach Street is in Atlanta? Because it's one of the popular streets. Oh, Atlanta. yes. Imagine oh, yes. having a circle. Imagine having a circle. Four corner circle, like four quarters. Uh-huh. Of each one of those squares were in the artist's name up and down Peach Street because Atlanta will be the beginning of the superstars. Hollywood will be the end of the mainstream superstars, how where they will be where they will lead to. Mm-hmm. Now imagine us having names of indie artists, hot indie artists names in the ground, like stars in Hollywood, all up and down Peach Street, because Atlanta work represents the beginning birth of indie superstars that are going to be mainstream. That, that's crazy. I, I like that idea. I would love that See, idea. Nobody don't realize how far I'm thinking of it. My, 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 bro, I'm so far ahead of time. I I'm know. so far ahead. I got other things that's going on in my head that ain't got, that's so far from this award show that people would never imagine. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow. Let me ask you this. Can you give me a, a it couple? I would never imagine it. Can you give me a couple more minutes so I can this do another segment? A touch of what I'm doing right now to try to build a platform so um, the uh, the aldermen, the mayor, all of them will see. Um, when they when I was video recording that area where they was building that stage, that belongs to the city hall over here by my house. Oh. I went to city hall and asked them, "You think I can put a live indie indie uh, concert over there?" They said, "Well, as long as you plan for the spot and you make sure the the police the police station is right across the street from the bank." So you got to get the police involved, that so security, for me to do and an everything indie else. Concert worldwide at that platform and that big old yard, that big old field, that big old stage, that everything that's there for everybody around the states to come and do this concert, rock band, uh, gospel band, whatever. Yeah. Who's thinking that far ahead for you guys? I know. You're doing a good Who's job. Who's thinking man. like that? Yeah, I like that. Instead of just thinking about an award show. This is not just an award show for me, bro. I know. I know it ain't. This, that's not what this is for me. But it starts with this, though. I'm doing an award show, but my mind is way somewhere else. It starts with that. Well, can you give me a few? Can you give me one more segment? Yeah. You can? Okay, hold on. Let me. Uh... Yeah, I can. I, I can. I can. I can. Okay. Yeah. okay. And that was part one of my interview with BMO. BMO Magazine, also in charge of the UMA Awards. Much love to y'all listening. Uh, the rest of that interview will be up in a couple of after a couple of songs. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all listen to this one right here. It's called "Make It Out." It's by Drill Dusky and Two Four It It. Uh, you're now rocking with your boy Dre in the hangout. What you sipping on? Let's go. Gotta make it out and go back if I had to, yeah Say you pay, say you ballin' what that cash do, yeah I've been chasing big things big since I am new You in the way of obstacle and that's a bad move Yeah DJ Q Brother, that Chicago, make shapes apply Turn up, turn up I'm bad, Corey Gray, let's get it, man Hey Gotta make it out and go back if I had to, yeah Say you pay, say you ballin' what that cash do, yeah I've been chasing big things big since I'm new day, yeah. You in the way of obstacle and that's a bad move I can't go back, play me, no, I can't go like that He fell off track, press we played it, I spent right back, yeah We was brought like that, I made a way from scratch All I know is facts, some can't relate to that Trapping AMs all the way into them PMs I fucked a bitch, I got into it with my BM Some niggas say they been around, but I don't see them I was getting booked for selling grams through the DM Got up on niggas, they ain't give, so I took shit Don't put that gun up to your head, you think I would switch Right before I'm dead, I say some real shit. Then lay my body to rest with blood still in it. I got a bad pass, black gloves, black mask. Niggas wanna put me in a body bag. Your blood will change up for large amounts of cash. Ain't no second thoughts, just taking kill real fast. Always been a winner, I can't do no fool shit. Gave him 800 and wait, I told him run right with it. Put my time in it, wish I would quit it. Thought they would have switched it up, these niggas still gimmicks. Gotta keep my distance, cause I know these niggas fiction. Zay told me what it was, but I ain't pay attention. Got him tatted on my face, he know I still miss him. And then, honey, I just can't if you feel the need to dance. And we 
sliding every day until we death the issue. You know. Late nights up in the cold, but he that grip the pistol. Oh. So many of my niggas gone and then fucked up my mental. Oh. Demons all up on my back and say the kid evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fucked up my mental. Fucked up my mental. They said the kid evil. They said the kid is evil. Don't try to act civil. Don't try to Ain't no team. It can't be that simple. Can't, no. Can't be that yeah. 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 One time, one time. Yeah. Me, I was born in the 80s. Never had a simple life. Blocks jucking, so I've been a couple routes. And I'm the man in the drought, so I'm taxing on the feet to keep my son right or wrong. Cause his daddy did a lot of wrong just to live right. So get my block with a few pipes on the court, they be hooping. But on the blocks, they be shooting. Been the captain, y'all just cap a lot. Up the Glock a lot. You get a clip, this a movie. Salute to them shooters, they smooth and noodles, they be ruthless. And for my team, mine them built a dream. Foreign currency, we stacking G's. My motivation, I want everything. On the kick door. And fuck the gossip, they losing Cause my whole team got a heat You see a boss on the street I flood your strip with plenty ammunition And if you got a Glock, bring it to me, I'ma fix it I'm on the block, that's the way I be pitching I pop this top, that be the motherfucking mission My block be the trenches, so we scoping them niggas I roll the dope and I don't fuck with these niggas And I don't play in no game With some shit you ain't never heard before. And that was Make It Out, Driller Dusky, and Two Four It It. Uh, appreciate y'all listening. I'm gonna go ahead and get y'all into this next cut. It's called Oh My God. It's Doe Boy Philly. Check it out. You're now rocking with your boy Dre in the hangout. Sponsored by 100 Proof. What you sipping on? Let's go. Alright, is everybody ready? Ready, ready, ready? Oh my God. God. <laughs> Kill my soul, I'm a martyr. Welcome to the little shop of horrors. 12 plus stuck inside this Taurus. Niggas out here warring. Everybody smile when the other side scoring. That's how I'd feel. It's extra lonely when it's real. Hennessy a bill, I ain't had no time to heal. My man wrecked his car, nothing damaged but his will. I told him play hurt because I was trying to get them pills. My mama couldn't pray away them pains in my mind. They give you perk 30s for them pains in your spine. The game ain't the same, the difference is niggas grind. You swear they Gemini's, you see them at different times. I mean, who is you? Personality glitching. Sipping cognac, zoned out the Valerie Simpson. My motto this year, anybody could get it. And on lookers, they should have minded their business. I've been on a mission. Oh my God. JFK a junkie on the score, a little junkie nodded on the floor, the devil's playground demon sliding down the board, I'm just making my rounds and I'm building my rapport, somebody press record, I wouldn't miss a beat if I was y'all, I would pull a shot and roll some weed if I was y'all, word is this what the game need cause it's raw, but with that come a price, OD lose your life, I'm married to the game, my engineer threw the rice, man they dicky when he was young he was nice, but if I had a dollar for every nigga supported me, I wouldn't have ten dollars on me. That's why I always move accordingly. All these niggas weird, well majority. It's a method to the madness and the shit that I do. My grandfather was the most thorough nigga I knew. I can't trust a fucking soul. A million in a week, that's the motherfucking goal. Guys came to me and struck motherfucking gold. It's dope and it ain't going for the low. I want it all, nigga.
And that was Oh My God by Doughboy Philly. Prior to that, you heard Drilla Dusky and 2 4 It It. The song was called Make It Out. And prior to that, you heard my uh, part one interview with BMO for uh, the UMA Awards and BMO Magazine. Um, right now, I'm going to go ahead and get y'all into the second part. Just as potent as the first part, if not more in more emphasis on importance all right uh he gets a little bit deeper into a lot of stuff we conversate about a couple more things but i want you to check out the interview let's go ahead and get into it what y'all sipping on let's go all right so you said you had more more visions let me ask you a couple things real quick before you get back into your visions uh you've been doing packages online and your packages has been set up is that mainly for the uh artist's coming in or is that for basically for everybody and how do people go about trying to look at them packages what, what do you mean packages what do you mean like you was talking like the the backpacks and the the shoes oh, and the belts and all that bro. stuff i'm from i'm from chicago um the hustle never goes out of me born and raised in chicago I find a way to fund yeah I, I'm, I'm born and raised in chicago okay so i, I knew it was the reason why you... i grew up in yeah i grew up in cabrini Cabrini I grew Greens. I up in 1230 Labrie and Cabrini and Henry Hornet Projects on 2029 West Lake Street. I grew up in the projects. You know where I was born? Evanston, Illinois, right outside. Oh, okay. You was over there with Dub C no more. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Evans, Evanston, Illinois, yeah. right so, there. So that, hustle, that, hustle, that hustle never goes away, bro. Yeah, you know, I know. If I'm going to do, if I'm going to have a business, I need to make money to have a business. Okay, I need to find something I can do other that's not illegal. Yeah, you're right. I gotta find right. something to sell. I gotta, I gotta make me a couple of dollars off something. I'm gonna pay for it. Yeah, but I need to find a way to make a couple of dollars off of it. Okay. Was that made? If I'm gonna do some. If I'm gonna try to build a business. Now, was that made just for the artists coming in, or is that just for everybody? That's for everybody, bro. Okay. Okay. Now, is there a way anybody. they can? I, I ship to I ship to everybody. Is it a way they can get that product? Uh, is there a website, or is it just? Do they have to check no, your Facebook? No I didn't do no website because that would be illegal. Okay, okay, okay. Because, you know, that, that wouldn't be right for me to sell LeBron James stuff on a website. Okay, okay. <laughs> True. And I'm just being honest about True. that. Okay. <laughs> you know, so, so, okay. so uh, but no, they can hit me up Bernard Moore or, you know, hit me up on Facebook and ask me, you know, or whatever, you know. So, you know, and I can tell them, you know, uh, inbox me because Facebook don't allow you to just throw stuff up there with numbers True. on there. They, True. They, they prefer it to be in the inbox. The young lady explained that to me. Okay, okay. Said, yeah, you can sell it. You can say, hit me up and give them a phone number, but you just can't give them the price. Now, you, if you can reply to them and tell them a price, but you can't post up and give a price. That's what's up. That's I'm like, what's up. oh, okay. I, uh, I understand. I would go broke dealing with you. You know that, right? Because every time you put something up there, I'd be like, man, I want to buy this. No, I want to buy that. And I'd be like, dang. I ain't... And the missus ain't going to let me buy too much. She ain't going to let me go broke now. But uh, well, yeah, tell them about I the tickets you, for I the show. You. What about tickets for the show? Uh, the, the tickets for the show is twenty dollars to get in. Uh, the VIP tickets are fifty dollars, and that's for everybody to have access in the after party. Okay. Because we, uh, if you got just regular tickets, you're gonna have to pay to get in there. I probably about ten, fifteen dollars more. Ten, fifteen dollars so more. I just thought that'd be a good idea that everybody get uh, VIP. If they wanted to get VIP ticket, they're gonna have a bag, a VIP badge. Uh, everybody's gonna have that. Uh, that's gonna um, be able to pay for VIP, uh, but uh, if there's regular tickets, twenty dollars. You can pay at the door. Okay, you, you can know, pay at the door too. Somebody that's coming from Chicago, that's gonna be handling that at the door. So okay. I, I got people from other states handling my business. Or you can go on Eventbrite and download the tickets. Well, they and all can that go stuff. on Eventbrite and get the tickets. Yes. Okay. They, they go okay. there and get Eventbrite. Yeah, okay. I just tell them, you know, Eventbrite always take a percentage of what you make. Okay. So that's why I tell people, okay, you can pay at the door. Just in case you don't want to come because you can't get your money back refundable, bro. Okay. Okay. You know, yeah. so if you want to pay when you get there, that's cool. Just What if you decide you get in a car accident or you can't make it, you got a flat tire or whatever. You know, I'd rather for you to have your money. True, true. You know, true. keep your money with you, you know. So Eventbrite ain't going to give it back to me, so I can't give it back to you. Uh-huh. Okay. How about the magazine? So, How can they get the magazine? Well, the magazine is on hold until December because, but the magazine, you can go to bmomagazine.com uh, or you can hit me Bernard Moore uh, in my inbox. Okay. And um, you can send me an EPK or a bio or four pictures. 
I'll design it. And see, here's the thing with the magazine. You don't get a slot on my magazine. You get a whole page. Okay. Okay. No artists have ever got a slot on my on my magazine. They have always, some artists have paid for two pages. Okay. Okay. You know, so it, it just don't seem right for an artist to be in a little box down at the bottom, telling a little something about them. No, I need to add some more pictures with you. And, uh, you know, and tell a little more story about you. So when they turn that page, they see you. They don't see nobody else. They see you. Okay. And the packages, yeah. they ain't expensive, are they? I mean, in terms of like... No, they're not expensive. They, they won't be expensive pretty soon because I'm trying to get a person to help me to do them digital. It just costs a lot for me to print them. That's why I slowed down on them. Uh, I bought me a couple of printers, but even the ink cost me a lot. Yeah, so I'm I know that. To, Slow up and make sure I save some money for this music award show. And then after that, then I'm going to go in hard uh, on the UMA's magazine. Because everybody at the UMA is going to be in this next magazine. Okay. That's why I put it on hold. Okay. Because it's the UMA's magazine. See, that's another thing the young lady didn't realize, that I was a magazine. Bro. Okay. Okay. When you speak of this young... All that argument... Young lady. Um, when you speak of this young lady, what lady are we referring to? Are we referring to the... Uh, the... Miss Christina Moore. You know, Miss Miss Moore. Miss Moore. You know, uh, Miss Christina Moore. It, Katrina Moore, I think her name. Is that but the uh, TV show, her, the uh, news anchor? No, that... no, she's a, uh, she's a, uh, she's the one that does the, the U, the, the, uh, A, A, new, A Music Awards, A Music Oh, the L, Atlanta Music A, Awards? A. Yeah, she's the okay. one that does that. Okay, okay. And, okay. um, she didn't realize that I'm a magazine. I'm not just doing a more award show. <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm a magazine. Okay. I've been a magazine for going on seven years. Okay. Now how successful now, you're going was it? Into it with somebody, you have to do your research, bro. True. You have to do your research. True. This man ain't jumped up and just did a music award. You're right. You're right. You're right. I used to do a internet. Um, well, the internet, uh, not radio station. But I, well, I do that now. But I used to do an internet um, magazine. For a while, and then I stopped doing it because it was so hard for me to try to keep up with it by myself. But how successful right. was her uh, her award show compared to what you think this would be? Because well, she... I, I I don't, bro. I did, but see, that would be wrong to do or to say. Professionally wise, I think she, from what I understand, she's very successful. She was situation. okay, okay. So yeah. that's why she so, was so, so upset. I think, at you. I think I think I think so. But the thing is, my thing was that I think she should have reached out to me first. Okay, cause she what she did just came and blasted at you. Is that what she did? Yeah, she just I just woke up and somebody told me she was blasting me. Wow, wow. You think you can get so her to attend? The character of the person that I'm dealing with. Do you think she'll attend the show yeah. just to see what it's like? Well, I don't know. If she do, I, I would like for her to tell me she's there so I can give her the VIP treatment, bro. Yeah, so she can see if it's you know if y'all can well, collab not just or anything. To see it, but treat her. Treat her with the respect that she deserves to be retreated, retreated with, bro. Right. She's another right. entity that's doing a music award show, and any other music award show would like to be treated with respect and uh, with dignity and um, 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 as a superstar or, or a founder or building something in any state. You're right. You know, should be treated the same way. And even if that, she can at least collab on you on next time go around or give you some pointers or, you know, anything like that's that. Absolutely right. Yeah. Absolutely right. Okay, okay. Well, let me ask you this. What's the future of BMO and not only just that, but the UMAs itself? Because I know I've already discussed with you about uh, doing the showcase down here. I'm sorry. I was going to say, I was just going to try to do a showcase with you down this way for next time go around. And uh, Mm -hmm. just tell me what your future, what your plan is for the future in terms of this. Well, my plan for the future is this for for us to do just like BET Awards. So we can have one music award show worldwide that we can do New Year's Eve. It's like New Year's Eve when we all come together, bro. Uh-huh. We celebrate just like New Year's Eve. Okay. We come together, we have having fun, we got after parties going on all over the city. Yeah. You know, everybody pick which after party they want to go to. Everybody got, people got penthouses, they having parties. I want us to feel just the way they feel. But I want this to be worldwide, um, go on forever. I got a younger group of young men, they they like 18 now. I'm grooming them to run this music award, bro. Okay, okay. Uh, it's, it's three of them, and they're very respectful. They're very kind, and they, they watch everything that I do. 
Somebody's got to do a win. They watch you know? everything that I do. And I, I told them, just watch. Because you don't want to be bagged up into a corner where you have to claw your way out when you can walk out of that corner without a scratch. True. Very true. Very, very true. Is that the... Um... Is that the only thing you got going on other than the award show? And you said you're doing a magazine again starting in December. I mean, is there any other like typical that, ideas? That's it, bro. You know, because I, I, cause I need to put all attention and focus on what I'm doing. On the two. I've been doing this by myself. I need to focus on it. Do you plan on? And every morning I wake up, it seems like God gives me another vision or something else. Do you plan on adding people to your vision in terms of like uh not only investors, but like, you know, co-partners and stuff like business, that? Business partners, bro. Yes. Business partners? partners. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. That was the reason for me building a team at first, bro. Uh-huh. That was the reason for me building that team. If, you, if, you, if anybody go back and check, um, in um, February, I think February or March, I did a set down with a number of people. Uh-huh. I got a business partner. Hope Vaughn is my business partner. Yes, I, I, I've she heard of She is my business. She, yeah, Hope is my business partner. Okay. She's been with me from day one. Okay. So, so, but the thing is, she also has her business with the model that she has to do. Okay. So I, you know, but um, her business does collide into the music award. So, because the art, the models are the ones that's presenting the awards to the person on stage. True. True. That's a good look. That's a good look. So, 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 um, she's she's been strong by me a thousand percent. Okay. Well, sh- She's one of the people that said, dude, we're going to ride this to the world. And then I got my other business partner, my CEO of the magazine, Nitty Blanco. He's been with me for seven years. Okay. Okay. I've heard Nitty, too. Nitty, Nitty yeah, does Nitty a lot of been, stuff. You know, he came with me when the magazine was created. Uh-huh. He, he been with me since then. And he saw, he saw the vision in that magazine. He's like, no, be more. I'm, I'm in. Okay. That kid, that guy right there never left, bro. Okay. Loyalty, respect, 1,000%, every cent. Okay. Well, I'm pretty That's sure you my got, CEO of Demo Magazine. You got more writers than that, though. I'm gonna tell you that much because I know b- between yeah, me, I, yeah, I know. between I, me I, and I, Boss Lady, we sitting here. We like, man. I mean, me and Boss is like, we really like this man's vision is hard, and I'm I'm all in. So I knew when you first put it together, I knew I wanted to be a part of it, and I knew it was gonna be something that was gonna be very, very spectacular. I I don't know. You know, I didn't know the the magnitude of it or how big it was going to be, but I knew that. And then when I got to conversating with Boss Lady and we were sitting there discussing on the show about uh, visions and stuff, she was like the same way I was. Like, this man's vision is outstanding. And why ain't anybody think about this any sooner? You know, and it was like, well, man. Well, here, well here's the thing, um, Mr. Dre. Uh, uh-huh. Here's the thing. Uh, mainstream could have done this for us. Yeah, I agree. They could have, they, and, and, and what it would have benefited with mainstream, they wouldn't have had to look for talent. They would have brought all the talent they need right to their doorstep. Bro. You're right. You're right. You're right. They had the money. They had the capacity. They they can they can get the venue. They can get everything. They could have done this themselves, bro. You're right. You're right. And they could have chose, they could have chose anybody that they wanted to choose if they wanted to sign in that room and run that show the way they want it ran. You're no right. No Because they had the money, they had the finances, they had the vision. I mean, they had the, not the vision, but they had the, the resources. They had all this stuff already set there. Right. Absolutely. They, they're far more ahead of the game than where we stand at right now, that they could have been done did this. Right. But, but see, that tells me once they got that money, their vision got low. Yeah, they start looking at bigger visions that invested money into it. They didn't look back at the Indian and said, "I'm gonna put some money back in the Indian." You're right. You're right. I'm gonna put some money. Let me let me build something here. How can I get all these artists together? You're right. You're right. Let me see what I can do to to build a platform to see if I can get I can get some fillings from other states to see what we're doing down here, artists. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. Let me ask you this. I know I'm having a problem with this. And I know Boss Lady's having the same problem. I don't know if other radio stations are having this problem. But I've noticed, like, when it comes to us as internet radio stations, we sit here and we're, like, pulling teeth trying to get people to submit music and stuff. But you notice on on Facebook how people will say, hey, 
send me your stuff and let me rate your stuff and all this stuff. I don't, this is my problem with that. My problem with that is I don't want to sit and have to rate nobody's music like that because everybody has their own genre of music. Everybody has some form of fashion that they've put time and effort into. And I don't like having to judge people's music, but I think people more turn to the idea of let me judge your music on Facebook compared to trying to send it to a internet radio station. Now tell me why is that? Well, Here's the thing. That's the old way. That's Stone Age, bro. When you say Stone why, Age, the press, that, that, I'm, I'm going to tell you everything about that. Okay. Me and mean, Boss Lady had this conversation, and I had to calm her down because I wanted her to see the vision in her radio station. Uh-huh. Uh, she was like, man, they people are lying and everything. I said, Boss Lady, let me tell you something. They're not going to have a choice but to come to you sooner or later. Then. When you step in that red carpet and you start doing them interviews, Guess what's going to happen? they going to go live. You're going to go live. True. The place is live. Mm-hmm. Everything is live. So you send those people that's not from your state to your state. Now, your state is wondering why aren't we being interviewed by her and she's interviewing all these people from other states. True. See, one thing people don't like is when you're not doing them and they right next to you and you're doing somebody else. It's a jealous thing. Now they want to get on board with you and find out, you know, how can I get involved? How can, you know, why you ain't never called me for an interview? Why you, and that's the reason for, not just your y'all radio stations, everyone radio station. I know, I know. See, we got to find a way to make you guys number one reason to submit music to. That's the reason for me saying that y'all have to be at shows. Y'all have to be at mic nights. Y'all have, they have to pay other radio stations to be in that building set up to interview these artists. They have, you guys have to be at every event. Okay. A damn carnival. Y'all should be <laughs> at a carnival. True. True. You're right. You're right. I'm going to have to figure out that. So that, that, that platform being built for y'all, they got to have you. Yeah. So they, they, they pick and choose who they want radio station they want now. So if you're in a city where everybody knows, you know, I'm cooking Drake Cafe for to come down for me because he, he's loyal to he's 100 and he's going to be here. I got one DJ been with me for seven years, bro. I know. He wasn't even a core DJ when I met him. Okay. Now, all the shows, and if you, if you interview Romeo and ask Romeo about me, he said, man, how long do we got? Because <laughs> I'm going to give you a story about this man you is not going to believe. Because he's been around you a long time. You're talking, about a, you're talking about a DJ got paid before he do any shows, bro. That's good. That's great. That's real good. A DJ that was with me when I gave away the cars at my show. What? When I gave away some 100 pairs of Solettos. I gave away uh, 100 iPhones. This is a DJ that's been around with me for years, bro. Wow. And wow. this DJ made it very clear, bro, I'm going to follow with you to the end of this yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. And when DJ Tony Neal called him up and made him a core DJ, guess who back in me now? With him. DJ Tony Neal. That's they good. Blessings, man. It's just it comes in it comes in droves, man, when it comes. Yes. So the loyalty when I reach out to people, people stay with me, bro. Okay. They stay with me. Because they understand I'm not trying to feed you no bullshit. And that's what I I'm like about you. trying to make us all wealthy and rich, not BMO. Because if I know if I had a million dollars right now, all of us would be sitting in the Bahamas right now, bro. You're right. You, me, boss lady, the other people that's close to me, Nitty, all of us, Go Fresh, uh, uh, all the radio stations that I'm messing with right now, we'd be sitting in the Bahamas sipping on two martinis, bro. That's a good way to think, man. I like that. I like that. Like we'd I said, be sitting you- right there, said, and we'd be looking at each other. We made it here. You're right. You're right. And before we leave there, we will have a meeting. What's the plan, y'all? We're going back into the dungeon. What's the plan? Well, you know I'm riding. These wolves. What's the plan? Anybody got any ideas? We need another million dollars. What's the plan? We need to come back here next year. What's the plan? Anybody got any ideas? Are you um, you just going to try to get through this show first before you start focusing on the next one? Or are you already in plans? Yeah, the next because... one don't start promoting until February. 
till February. So people got yeah, we promote all the way from February to to uh, November, bro. Okay, so I'm gonna have you moving yeah, around. It don't make I'm no a... sense to do a war show in the middle of the year if you haven't finished your grind out through a whole year. There's no need for me to focus on what you did. True, true. I'm gonna try to get you a couple showcases down this way. I need to at least get you down here twice. Yeah, see, and let me tell you about the showcase. The showcases that's being done when you charge with the showcases, only a percentage of what you make goes to the amazing ones. Right? Okay, okay. Now the the money that you make on there. You make sure your artist is able that wins to get to the UMA. Okay. The rest of the money you keep for yourself, bro. Okay. That's your money. Okay. That's your money. That's your showcase. That's your money. Well, I'm definitely the trying to get you involved. The only thing is by brand, making sure you find an artist you want to bring in. Okay. You make sure that artist is taken care of. Make sure you got a round trip ticket to the UMA. That's it. Okay. Okay. Now, the rest of the money, you can do 20 year, twenty showcases, but you only can come out with one artist. Okay. So he can battle up against everybody on 20 showcases. And you're going to pick one of them, and they're going to be there? Yeah, just one. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm ahead. Now, all that money that you make off 20 showcases, that money is yours. You're just giving the percentage of each one of those showcases to the UMAs to invest in us making sure... Everything is okay that we're doing. That's it. That's your investment. Okay. Now you're getting paid for your investment because you're making money on the end. True. Be a businessman. I like so that. You can't say you're not get, so you can't say you're not getting paid. So nobody's hustling you. Yeah. Because if you fail, it's only on me. It's only on the person yeah. that's, that, that makes it fail. So. That's right. You're right. I like that. I like that. Well, you know, you got a rider in me. I'm ready to... Uh, Roll this to the wheels fall off. Let me ask you, is there anything in particular that you want to discuss before we uh, head up out of here? Like no, in terms that's of- nothing I want to discuss. Yeah, um, I got a lot of calls been coming in, people from L.A. and everything. <laughs> so, you I'm know, sorry. These people, that, that they, they watching and they making sure everything is straight, bro. Okay, okay. Now, once you again. Know, so, so everything everything's good, and I'm glad to have you, Drake. You know, uh, from I'm glad I met you and heard from you. I'm glad you were uh, a, a very... Uh, Unique kind of person to, to pick up the phone and call and ask how can you be a part of this when it first popped off. And and that's what made it so interesting to have you on that red carpet because you saw exactly what you needed to see before everything got down to the nitty gritty. Indeed, indeed. You I'm... saw that. You said, okay, now I need to get in now. I need to get in now before this go any further. And that's what you did. I, Boss Lady did the same thing. And Fusion Radio did the same thing. True Fam Radio did the same thing. Uh, Bernard Mason did the same thing. You know, everybody got in before anything got locked down. Y'all was in before the artists on stage got done. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, we the vision. I think with me and you, when I first spoke with you, I think you sold me from just the honesty part because... It pays to be honest because I was in the music industry before and I had a um, guy who would constantly let us get put on for shows. We did shows with Juvenile, did shows with, you know, Haystack, a bunch of artists down this way. And he was always charging us, but we had the hardest time trying to get him to do some things for us. And it was crazy. But the more I've got with you and I was like, man, this, uh, his honesty is what's pulling me in because not only is his vision proper, but he has a game plan that didn't have like a, even his game plan had a, a, a fail safe on the backside of it. So you had everything already planned out. And I'm like, okay, this guy here, it works for me. And the more I thought about it, and the more I listened to you, and the more I listened to you when you're doing your Facebook lives, just told me, hey, this right here is serious. Because even with you going out to parks and you was out there showing, you know, Whatever that park was, they had the new stage put up and all that. And you was like, hey, yeah. this, is, this is a vision. And I was like, damn, you know, this cat really has got a lot of, you know, sense enough to know that he's pushing things right now. And he's looking at other ideas just than just this one. And that that's just sold me, you know. And I, like I said before, me and Boss Lady had the conversation. And when she said the same thing I said, I was like, I knew right then and there. Back way back in February when I spoke with you, I said, I know this is my idea or the vision of what he's doing right now is what I want to follow. So, I mean, I'm loving it. I'm loving what you're doing. And I'm blessed, you know, that I had the opportunity to work with you on projects like this and hope this ain't the last one. So 
You know, like I said, you got a rider for life. You got a rider for life. I appreciate it, bro. I really do. I appreciate it. Um, Tickets, you want to tell them about the place, the 595 Event Center, uh, November 17th. Uh, uh, November 17th, we're going to be at the 595 Event Center over by the Atlanta Falcon Stadium. Um, Fantastic restaurants in that area if you wanted to get over there early before the show is over. Um, to eat at some Mexican restaurants. Uh, we got a uh, um, uh, two chains restaurant over there, right in that spot. Everything, you know, um, you can go over there and enjoy yourself before the show. The doors open up at 530. All artists and everybody that's a part of the show need to be there too to start setting up the areas and everything. Uh, like I said, it's, it's going to be a marvelous time, bro. Okay, okay. You know, it's going to be a marvelous time. And I can't wait till it's over because... I want to make sure I have people to help me because they people don't realize I'm not sleeping, bro. Well, you need to, you need to, you need <laughs> to get your rest, man. Sleep, when I go to sleep, bro, I, I, I'm, my my woman, I tell you, she takes the phone, she turn the phone off, she do everything to make sure I don't answer that phone, bro. You need your rest, my brother. I know I'm always seeing you, you know? either in the truck or you driving somewhere, you're doing something. You need your rest, bro, because I need you at 100% when I come down there because you already know it's going to be crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I told you two days before the show, I'm not taking any calls or anything. I'm going to rest those whole two days. Well, that's expected of you. Well, you know, it's much love, man. Uh, God bless you, man. And and like I said, this won't... Hopefully, I'll get to talk to you again before we head down that way. And uh, I uh-huh. do plan on getting some more tickets because I've got a couple brothers that I want to come see this, uh, this, this vision that you have because these guys right here... Okay. These guys right here... I consider them to be like they can they can get up there with no fresh man. I, I think they they got that kind of that kind of charisma, that kind of style, that kind of like mm-hmm. attitude. Well, that's they, why they, they need to be there to see this, bro. Yeah, and I want them to you be know, there. We got that's, a lot that's, of great artists. We got a lot of great artists, bro. It ain't just Doe, and uh, we got a lot of. Great I know, artists. I know. You got Kaylee Crossfire. You got Kia Rap Princess. You got Chink Bless. You got no, man. I'm talking about not even just them. I'm talking about the ones that's not going to be on stage. We got a lot of great. Well, the, and the thing about that too is the idea of being able to uh, network. That was another thing right. with me is networking because I want them to come down there with CDs and you know and bring down your your business cards and want to come down there and mingle. And when you see Dre's Cafe come through and say, "Hey, what's up?" You know, I want to be able to interview them and see these guys because you don't know the next guy that might be big might be one that I interview. You know what I mean? So you right. know that that is a big deal to me. So. Well, let's, let's make it happen. Okay. Let's well, make it happen. That's like I said, I like to put in the work. I don't like to talk too much about it. I know. I like make, make it happen. I know. <laughs> you know I, you know me. I like to work, bro. I like to work. Well, <laughs> much, well much love to you, Mr. BMO. Uh, BMO Magazines, UMA Awards, all that stuff is coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, once again, I appreciate having you, Mr. BMO. Uh, you know, anywhere they need to reach you, the 414, I, I mean... 414-627-1466, or you can hit me on my email, uh, bmo1466, bm at gmail.com. That's Bernard Moore or bmo. Well, I thank you. I thank you so very much, Ms. Mr. Bmo. You have a good evening. Be safe, man, and get you some rest. Yeah, I, well, I can't now. i got to get up to the event place and check out the lighting and all that stuff and make sure everything's straight. And, uh, you know, they finna buy a laser for our stage so that, that award trophy can beam off the wall while they perform it. That's good. So i got to get up there and take care of that business. Well, so, you already man. know. If you need us, you just holler at us, man. God bless you. You too, bro. Thank you, bro. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. And that was my interview with BMO for BMO Magazines. Also, uh the CEO and founder of uh, the UMA Awards, which will be held on November 17th of uh, at the 595 Event Center in Atlanta, Georgia, okay? So if you want the opportunity to go, feel free. You can order tickets through uh, Eventbrite, or you can also catch them at the door. Uh, tickets are $20. All proceeds go to uh, the UMA Awards. Uh, $50 is the VIP. You also get the opportunity to go to the after party, ticket to the after party, and so on and so forth. It's a very, very good deal. Promise y'all that. I bought my tickets back in when he first told everybody about it back in February or March, somewhere around there. I went and bought my tickets back then. So uh, let's go ahead and get into some more music. This song is called Real Nigga. It's a uh, Bo Deal. 
JB23, AJ33, and A Book Carter. All right. Go ahead. Let's go ahead and get into it. Check it out. You're now rocking with your boy Dre in the Hangout, sponsored by 100 Proof. What y'all sipping on? Let's go. Uh huh. Uh-huh. JB23 was popping, nigga. You already know what it is when real niggas connect. Uh huh. Boom. Look, real niggas say no names nah. And even though we got toys, we don't play no games nah. Catch a motherfucker nah. lacking, we gon' spray that thing <laughs> Causing us a suicide, nigga, Kurt Cobain <laughs> Let that gag go bang I'm a real nigga, you a real nigga, we some real niggas, uh-huh. right? I'm a real nigga, you a real nigga, we some real niggas, yeah. right? I'm a real nigga, you a real nigga, we some real niggas, we right? Yeah. This a real nigga night, being fake is not a real nigga fight it's a real nigga night, and your bae wants some real nigga pipe The definition alone, you don't really live a real nigga life Niggas being fake, and they think that's a real nigga fight Put them in their place, make them roll, that's some real nigga dice You must be playing if you land on my property Got a feature from Brick Squad, so we play a Monopoly She a pro with the joint paper that brought be topping me And I don't see an octagon, cause it ain't no stopping me Fuck is you talking about? Fuck niggas counting me out don't give a fuck about no clout I got a vision of making it out it Feeling out. like Oscar the Grouch Pop out with cancer, we taking them out Little nigga think he the plug Quick the finesse, we faking them out Real niggas say no names nah. And even though we got toys We don't play no games nah. Catch a motherfucker lacking We gon' spray that thing <laughs> Causing us a suicide Nigga Kurt Cobain Let that gag go bang I'm a real nigga, you a real nigga We some real niggas, uh-huh. right? I'm a real nigga, you a real nigga, we some real niggas, yeah. right? I'm a real nigga, you a real nigga, we some real niggas, we right? Is. This a real nigga night, being fake is not a real nigga fight. Real niggas don't say much, don't know. just keep your mouth hushed. Out of the money, it be a plus. No time to discuss. He claim the shit till he got flush. You out the business, boys are us. Got your main chick for the lust. Like a one day she wanna bust. Hate niggas like Clue Club. I bet the clan agree. They want the how I get my bread. I got the say relief. No, we don't play no games. Your life in jeopardy. Pockets, they stay on swole. Muscularity. Hilarious. How you niggas comedians? I got the sauce, the ingredient. Beat the pot. It be disobedient. In my mold like a median. Got a form. And we round form. Look at the whip that you see me in. Hit a mouth. Right up on the couch. Cause a nigga act deviant. Uh, act deviant. Real yeah. niggas say no names. And even though we got toys, we don't play no games. Catch a motherfucker lacking, we gon' spray that thing. Causing us a suicide. Nigga Kurt Cobain. Let that gag go bang. I'm a real nigga, you a real nigga, we some real niggas, right? I'm a real nigga, you a real nigga, we some real niggas, right? I'm a real nigga, you a real nigga, we some real niggas, right? This a real nigga night, being fake is not a real nigga fight. Kicking the door like, damn, my nigga. They gonna hate, I am that nigga. Think I'm a jackass like, bam, my nigga. Flick stones or bigger low. Shit that I slang, bad, bad, me a nigga. I made a deal with both. I got a clan of killers. Monopoly money. I am a rapper like Chance, my nigga. My bitch with the shits when it comes to the case. I promise you, she be a hammer, nigga. One for my team, I am the dream. On the hook, no Peter Pan for niggas. It's law that I proceed to stand on niggas. Get caught in my way, then I stand on niggas. Run through the mail, put my stamp on niggas. I'ma get the upper hand on niggas. No need for recitals, the hell with a title. But you recognize the champ, my nigga I don't see you use an ant, my nigga I still like put foot on the land, my nigga One phone call, they hop out the van, oh nigga You look the rent out like quicksand, my nigga Real niggas say no names And even though we got toys We don't play no games Catch a motherfucker lacking We gon' spray that thing Causing us a suicide, nigga Kurt Cobain Let that gang go bang I'm a real nigga, you a real nigga We some real niggas, right? I'm a real nigga, you a real nigga We some real niggas, right? I'm a real nigga, you a real nigga, we some real niggas, we right? Is. This a real nigga night, being fake is not a real nigga fight. Real nigga fight. And that was real nigga. Bo Deal. JB23, AJ33, and A Book Carter. All right. Uh, appreciate y'all listening. I'm going to go ahead and get y'all into some more music right now. This is called King of My City, the Supreme RA, featuring Imperial Real Rail. That's all that Supreme Ruler I am. You're now rocking with your boy Dre in the Hangout. What y'all sipping on? Let's go.
I'm the king. Yeah, you know I reign supreme. Fresh to death for a day. You see me step on the scene. Greatest to ever do it like Muhammad Ali. You don't believe me, you should act about me. And they'll tell you I'm the king. Yeah, you know I reign supreme. Fresh to death for a day. You see me step on the scene. Greatest to ever do it like Muhammad Ali. You don't believe me, you should act about me. And they'll tell you I'm broadcasting live. Give me a high five from the black hand side. While leaders the rise. Check out these royal features. I'm a leader. Lyrically the black Jesus, y'all Paul and Peters But you need to check out how I overthrow like Maximus kill Caesar In the Coliseum, saying are you not entertained? Scream my name, I'm the king that reigns supreme over the lost city I'm ever apparent to the throne, giving life to the dry bones With these self-love poems that shows the six sextillion tons of this earth is your home And anywhere you can make it your own I'm back by God's law, that's why I shot call to this common state that keeps Keeps you a common slave. That's all I gotta say anyway. Black market independent mayday is the main thing that verifies why I'm the Lord of the Rings. I'm the king. Yeah, you know I reign supreme. Fresh to death for a day. You see me step on the scene. Greatest to ever do it like Muhammad Ali. You don't believe me, you should act about me. And they'll tell you I'm the king. Yeah, you know I reign supreme. Fresh to death for a day. You see me step on the scene. Greatest to ever do it like Muhammad Ali. You don't believe me, you should act about me. And they'll tell you. Every day I wake up, I feel like a king I stay sharp like the claws on Wolverine Yes sir, just call me, your majesty Honestly, not of myself, quiet as kept He came like a thief in the night Now follow the steps on how to escape mental death Akuna Matada, we no longer depressed Now the community will be blessed If you ain't down with that, fall back, you a guest Somebody's pet, not one of the leaders So called master's nest I'm dressed in holy armor Protected by the panther guard of Wakanda with the marching band that creates our own mantra I live in America, but I want a new Ghana Word to mama, collectively refined minds that stand for honor We follow by codes and conducts, no hush, have faith Hashtag, keep it a buck, just I'm trust I'm yeah, you know I reign supreme Fresh to death for a day, you see me step on the scene Greatest to ever do it like Muhammad Ali You don't believe me, you should act about me And they'll tell you I'm the king yeah, you know I reign supreme. Fresh to death for a day. You see me step on the scene. Greatest to ever do it like Muhammad Ali. You don't believe me, you should act about me. And they tell you. Yo, what do you want, King Jaffe, a prince of king? Is it royalty with the highest prestige? No, you was just chasing for a queen. Living for somebody else's dream. This is not make believe. I was destined to be born 1979 in the same birthplace as Muhammad Ali. Obviously, keeping it kingly with resiliency. How free are we when Pharaoh Trump doesn't respect your freedom of speech? Man, we in need of someone to lead. But look at the activity on Ratchet TV, where you see drag queens, Party B, TMC, with Meek Mill and Safari. That's ugly. I'm sorry. Somebody's playing us like a sorry. What corruption? Begging for justice for those who give us nothing. That's why I give you the rap Moses with substance. It's nation time for the chosen kind. Ain't nothing above. Yeah, you know I reign supreme. Fresh to death for a day. You see me step on the scene, greatest to ever do it like Muhammad Ali. You don't believe me, you should act about me. And they'll tell you I'm the king. Yeah, you know I reign supreme. Fresh to death for a day, you see me step on the scene, greatest to ever do it like Muhammad Ali. You don't believe me, you should act about me. And they'll tell you. My perfect form, the perfect body, the perfect power, the fulfillment of my purpose. Truly marvelous. And that was King of My City, Supreme R.A., featuring Imperial Real Rail. Uh, you've heard Imperial Real Rail on his uh, CD, uh, Music for the People, him and Doe Fresh to Don. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was some tracks on there with Superior RA on there, but, um, much love to anybody, everybody that's been listening. Shout out to everybody that's going to be at the UMA awards. I will have a special show on that in the next couple of days, if not next Monday of all the uh, nominees, all the people involved, all the people that will be there, all the people that won't be there. Um, people that are going, if you're going, do me a favor, send me a shout out 615-540-3998. Uh, and just say, Hey, I'll be at the UMAs. Uh, let me know that you're, you're representing. 
Uh, if not benefit, throw a little money to the side, you know, it's for a good cause, it's for uh, indie artists. So all the indie artists around the world, world opportunity to uh, be able to go to the UMA Awards or at least get involved in it. All right. Uh, next year, I discussed, like I said before, with BMO, I discussed on trying to do a showcase here in Tennessee. That way I can send somebody to UMA, UMAs to be able to perform in front of everybody. Uh, a lot of people do that. Man, it's it's artists all over the world. People that I would like to see there, man. I mean, like I literally would love to see a bunch of guys there. Doc Evans, uh, Doc Evans is a, is a pioneer of what he's doing now. He's a futuristic brother who got his his head on right. Uh, Sean Vega, you know, D turned the bully. Fred Diggs, um, man, you name them, dude. It's a bunch of people out there I would like to see. Doe Fresh will be hopefully Doe Fresh will get there. Uh, he can bring Superior RA, uh, Imperial Rail Rail. I mean, <coughs> crazy. <coughs> Supreme RA. I'm sorry, I keep saying Superior. Uh, Supreme RA, uh, Imperial Rail Rail, all these cats. Uh, I would love to see these cats there next year, you know, doing some things. Um, Money Matt, I'd like to see Fabulous on stage doing something. Miss Fabulous. Uh, DJ Cherry T. Uh, man, K Vic. Mr. Pocket Nations, uh, any of these guys. I would love to see any of these guys there, okay, next year. So, uh, opportunity is yours. 595 Event Center, November 17th in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, the UMA Awards. I plan on being there. I plan on, you know, being fresh to death, looking clean, dapper. Uh, you know how I rock, man. Dre's Radio Cafe is going to be in the building, I promise you that. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into some more music. This song right here. It's Pino. The song is called Leveled Up or Level Up. You're now rocking with your boy Dre in the hangout. What y'all sipping on? Let's go. It's me. It's for me. Pino. For
and that was Foreign Pino. The song was called Level Up. I'm about to get y'all into this next cut. It's a new song by uh, Miss Fabulous. It's called Why You Lie. Followed by DJ Cherry T. This T. The song's called On, on Phone Em. Uh, you're now rocking with your boy Dre in the hangout. What you sipping on? Let's go.
that was Miss Fabulous. The song was called Lie to Me. Uh, much love to everybody listening right now. Uh, shout out to everybody that's uh, <clears throat> been contributing to the show and whatnot. Uh, the next song is DJ Cherry T. The song is called On Phone Em. Uh, you're now rocking with your boy, Dre, in the hangout. What y'all sipping on? Let's go. Mom! Phineas and Ferb are making a title sequence! Tell me what you finna do. On phone now. Tell me what you finna do, my bitches here, we coming through. Tell me what you finna do, what you finna do. Tell me what you finna do, my bitches here, we coming through. We came to kill, we came to shoot. Tell me what you finna do, we ride around, we come for you. Tell me what you finna do. Tell me what you finna do. Uh, make that bitch cry. She sounding like boo hoo. Looking at her in the eyes, you know what we finna do. We finna run up on that bitch and start a rampage. We finna. This bitch is start the new age. new age VVS, need it on our neck Pump our chest Like an A Got him, dressed in bait What you mean, cherries on this dinner plate? Whoa. We go ahead, we bout to blow I'm bugging out, losing all control Yeah, can't be taking my soul nah. no. They ain't taking my soul, nah What, what, what you finna do? What you finna do? My bitch is here. You know we came to shoot. Came to kill. What you finna do? Look, look, looking at her like do something, shoot something. I'm sure it's hot somewhere. You ain't going do nothing. Better stop fronting when she see me lay her ass out. Man down. That nigga take his pants down. Whoa. What is you doing? Fuck up my face with that weak shit. Damn. That was DJ Cherry T, and the song's called On Phone Them. Uh, much love to everybody that's listening, checking me out and whatnot. Uh, I told y'all I would run y'all over a little bit. I appreciate you listening. listening. Give me about, give or take, 15 more minutes. I'll have y'all up out of here. All right, real quick, um, things y'all need to know. Uh, UMA Awards, November 17th, 595 Event Center, Atlanta, Georgia. Tickets are $20. Uh, VIP is 50 uh, you can go to Eventbrite, pick up tickets. Also, you can go and meet them and get at the door. Uh, come dress to impress. If you're an artist and you're just coming down there to show represent, uh, please bring your CDs that y'all going to dispute, uh, distribute, uh, your in, your business cards, your your fresh look, your fresh attitude. Uh, don't come with no negativity, man. We ain't got that kind of time, man. Uh, I want to be able to... Get involved with people, get to mingle with people, get to know people. I don't want to know all the negative, uh, you know, this, that, and the other. I really just want to be a positive vibe, all right? So all that BS and stuff that you see at normal, you know, award shows, the people not being, you know, cooperative and all that. I'll save that, please, for people that uh, really would like to see that stuff not prosper for what we're trying to do. We're trying to make something happen very, very seriously. Uh, we're trying to make it happen in a positive manner. Uh, negativity can only bring it down. Much love to anybody that that contributes to it in terms of whether y'all sent music, whether you are a clothes designer, whether you are an artist, whether you are a photographer, whether you're coming in as a radio station, whether you're coming in as an A&R, whether you're coming in as a manager. Regardless of what it is, I appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody along the world. I appreciate you for listening, all right? Because without you, I wouldn't be nothing. All right, 150,000 listeners every month is a blessing to me. All right, 
God bless y'all for listening to me. Uh, like I said, send me a shout out, D R E Z E Y 21 at yahoo.com. Let me know you're listening. Uh, I'm going to try to set up a button where y'all can go to shout outs and y'all can send me shout outs and I'll go ahead and I'll send them back to y'all, all right, on future shows. Also, um, Y'all got the, the phone number, 615-540-3998. That's 615-540-3998 is the number. Uh, also, you can go to the website, www.dracerradiocafe.com. There on the very first page, you can see request music, uh, vote for Dre's 8, or the Run Up See Me Challenge, uh, sponsored by 100 Proof. All that's right there on the very first page. I'm also working on a new button called Shout Out, where you can sit there and you can send me a shout out. I'll send you one back, all right? Promise you that. Um... Also, any uh, interviews, anything like that, y'all want to interview, hit me up, man. D-R-E-Z-E-Y-2-1 at Yahoo.com. I ask that y'all send me two songs. One song when I bring y'all in, one song when I take y'all out from your interview. All right. Uh, right now, I'm not doing any formal charging or nothing, none of this. Uh, all your music that y'all submit to me, if y'all submit music to me, is on the station itself for free request. People can request it uh, at their own free leisure. Uh, we'll show on the station. He'll be on the station for a good little while. Uh, you're more than welcome to, um, you know, send in ideas for shows, things of that nature. Also, I ask that if y'all want to interview, please try to send me a drop so I can have a drop of y'all when y'all send your shows. If you don't have an idea of what a drop is, it's simply just stating who you are and that you listen to Dre's Radio Cafe or, you know, hey, my name is such and such Joe Bob. My album such and such is coming out on such and such day. Uh, please feel free to try to go cop that or whatever. Uh, listen to Dre's Radio Cafe, whatever the case may be, just a, a neat drop that you can do for the station, all right? So much love to that. Um, also, uh, I would like to take a moment to say, if y'all want to friend me on Facebook, go to Dre's Radio Cafe, Dre's Radio Cafe, D-R-I-D-R-E uh, apostrophe S, Radio Cafe, Dre's Radio Cafe. Um, or you can go to Dre's Radio Cafe, but my primary one that i have for my family and friends is full unfortunately uh, much love to anybody and everybody that's been listening uh let's go ahead and get back into the music this is a new one uh y'all probably haven't have not heard it the next three songs are all new this new one is uh by my homeboy k vic shout out to lebanon tennessee this song is called sticks and stones you're now rocking with your boy dre in the hangout what y'all sipping on let's go Your sticks and stones may break my bone, but your words will never hurt me. Let's it hits home, then that's one to your dome. I know niggas dab me up, then go behind my back and stab me. But it's all good lately, I don't trip like I should. Your sticks and stones may break my bone, but your words will never hurt me. Let's it hits home, then that's one to your dome. I know niggas dab me up, then go behind my back and stab me. But it's all good lately, I don't trip like I should. It's okay, it's alright. Pretty girls on my crib tonight. Got a couple coming to the crib tonight. Just to get my mind right. Say what you please, but I will not listen. My skin thicker than the lean that I'm sipping. I don't drink off the only when I'm tripping. I'm never lacking, I can't be no victim. Do what you will, but don't speak of my mom. Stab me in the back, I shoot me in the arm. With the Lord on my side, I don't recognize harm. I'm a soldier, I don't weather the storm. So do what you will, I'll do what I can. That means if you try me, it lights my hands. You better think twice, cause it get all in. I forgive you, but we cannot be friends. Too many people try to sign snake. Sometimes your family, sometimes your bait. I know it's hard, but it's better this way. Even in the past and live for today. Don't dwell on what was, cause that's where you stay. If you care about opinions, you'll never be great. If you have no heart, after you cock the dirt on my name, but I die on my arm. Your sticks and stone may break my bone, but your words will never hurt me. Let's say it's home, then mess one to your dome. I know niggas dab me up, then go behind my back and stab me. But it's all good lately, I don't trip like I should. Your sticks and stone may break my bone, but your words. Words will never hurt me. Let's it hits home, then that's one to your dome. I know niggas dab me up, then go behind my back and stab me. But it's all good, lately I don't trip like I should. Tired of the fake shit, tired of the snake shit. 
tired of these niggas with a smile in my face shit Never giving, always take shit Niggas always on that hate shit Every dream I ever had, I had to chase it A lot of people try to say I'll never make it Think it's crazy cause I know my inner greatness I say fuck em cause I'm never with the hatred On my mind, get rich or die And I know some niggas trying to see me dead Young King, young CID Bitch, I wear the crown, I got a heavy head Summertime, took a lot of lies Got me wondering if I'll be leaving next I got no fear for the afterlife But while I'm here, I'm chasing dreams and chasing checks No more time for these niggas switching sides up No more time for these niggas making lies up No more time for these niggas making ties up No more time, I got no more time Your sisters gon' make break my phone But your words will never hurt me Let's say it's home, then mess one to your dome I know niggas dab me up, then go behind my back and stab me But it's all good, lately I don't trip like I should Sticks and stone may break my bone, but your words will never hurt me Let's say it's home, then mess one to your dome I know niggas dab me up, then go behind my back and stab me But it's all good, lately I don't trip like I should I don't trip, I don't trip And that was K Vic. The song was called Sticks and Stones. Much love to y'all listening. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and get y'all into this another new cut. This is Mr. Pocket Nations, one half of Mulatto Mafia. The song is called Wear Me Down. You're now rocking with your boy Dre in the hangout. What y'all sipping on? Let's go! Yeah, girl, I don't know what you did. Maybe lose a swag and everything. Off your mind, cause we both grown folks.
That was Mr. Pocket Nations himself, one half of Mulatto Mafia. The song's called Wear Me Down. You know, I rock with your boy Dre in the hangout. I've been come to my close of another show. Uh, real quick, shout out to everybody that's listening. Everybody that's like a shout out, whether on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter. No matter the case, man, I much love to y'all, all right? Um, I'm going to start getting more connected with y'all, being more in hands, more on, more on hands with y'all, more total, more conversations with y'all. Uh, ways to reach me, reach me, D-R-E-Y-2-1 at yahoo.com. Uh, download the app, Dre's Radio Cafe in Google Play. Still working on the iHeart, I mean, uh, the iPhone app for that. Uh, you can also call 615-540-3998. That's 615-540-3998. You can also send me a text message. Uh, if you missed this show, you can catch it again on um, Wednesday, I believe it is, after Crown Royal Conversations. Uh, you can also catch it in the morning, Tuesday morning from seven to nine. Uh, I'm also trying to work on a show for the weekend. Also, uh, first episode of Jay and Dre will come up shortly. I do have that one already pre-recorded. It's very, very funny. You'll like that. Um, also anybody that wants to submit music, D R E Z E Y two one at yahoo.com. Please try to have it in MP3 format. It makes it a lot easier for me to be able to put it on the station and also on the show. Uh, also, I would like to say thank you to my sponsor, 100 Proof. 100 Proof gave me the opportunity to do this. Uh, still working with your boy, loving every minute of it. Um, rest in peace to my boy B&G. Uh, uh, man, it's been an amazing time doing this right now, all right? All right? Um, my last song for y'all is brand new. It's Doc Evans featuring Pablo the Great. It's off of Doc Evans' new album coming out real soon. It's called New Katana. I'm going to go ahead and be playing that for y'all when I get ready to cut out of here, all right? So, um, much love to everybody that's been submitting music. Like I said, I don't want y'all to stop this. This is a, this is a train that's picking up steam, and it's going real well. Uh, UMA Awards is another piece of the, the puzzle, man. Uh, November 17th at the 595 Event Center, uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, tickets are still on sale. $20 for a regular, uh, $50 for the VIP. Um, also... If you get an opportunity, listen to Crown Royal Conversations with Annie Mae. Very, very intuitive. Very, very funny. Um, learn some things, what women want, what women think about. Uh, also, you got Mixie's Mix. You also got Dre's 8, which will be here tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Every night, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 7 p.m. Dre's 8, the funnest hour you'll probably have all day trying to determine what song is number one. Any of this music that you hear today, you can actually go onto the website www.dresradiocafe.com and request it. Also, you can go to the uh, app itself, the uh, Dre's Radio Cafe. In the top le- uh, left hand corner, you'll see the little line bar, the menu bar. You can click on the menu bar, go to the website itself. You can uh, request a the song there also. Uh, much love to everybody and anybody that's been listening. Everything else is, uh, you know, self explanatory. Much love to y'all all. Uh, in closing, Make your best, your your one life, your best life. Do the best to make somebody happy. Smile every day. Uh, God, family, everything else. In Jesus' name I pray. I yeah, hope y'all have a good day. Enjoy your evening. This is New Katana. Doc Evans featuring Pablo the Great. You've been rocking with your boy Dre in the Hangout. Sponsored by 100 Proof. What y'all sipping on? Until next time, let's go! <laughs> It's the who's who of Whoville. I'm too real, I'm too true, I'm too ill. New Katana Blue Steel. About to kill a few bills, about to eat a few meals. Put that steel to his grill, put that silver to his head, Drew Hill. I'm the last of the dragons. Bruce Leroy trapping. Tell him this is what happened when you mix a genius with a motherfucking savage. I don't wanna hear all your excuses while you losing, while you tell me that you had it, but you lost it. What you proving? Oh, you need my help. You see me bossing up. Yeah, I'll be moving. Why don't you ask me how we do it? I'll be saucing. I'll be juicing. Drippy and I love it when she catch it. Five grams in the blood so you can't match it. Turn the studio into a chamber. I'll be gassing. Smoking what I'm smoking. You'll be waking in the casket. They want to do the things that I'm doing. Watch my life like movies trying to copy all my movements. Scoot these niggas once. Now they want to be my students. Okay, this the last time. I'm Okay, this is the last time I'ma show you how to Since I was 16
16, they say fix it Boy, your older brother should have told you they was useless. Come in, little nigga, let me show you how to shoot.